Well, good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you all for coming. I'm John Buckley, the Registrar of Deeds for Plymouth County, and we thought, meaning we, Carolyn Lacey, our office manager, and Kathy Ambrose, our able, her able assistant over here, thought it'd be nice to recognize um, the 25 years that Brockton's actually had a satellite registry of deeds. Um, back in 1994, um, commissioners, me, Pat Lawton, and Bob Stone, we worked very closely with then registered deeds Jack Reardon and his very, very technology able assistant Rich Siebert to try to have something at this end of the county um, because Plymouth is kind of a hike getting down there. And it was before 44 and would take people almost a half a day to go down to put something on record. And so we had great support uh, from the city. At the time, uh, Mayor Farwell uh, gave us a lease at the uh, school administration building at the Maple Ave entrance for a dollar a year um, to locate a satellite uh, here in Brockton. And we thought it would be really nice and historic if we brought back our original office manager to, to be recognized for that... <laughs> for that breakthrough event. Yeah. And, and, and clearly other registries across Massachusetts have done the same thing. Uh, and, but um, the, all the glitches that you go through when you work something out, especially for the first time, and the technology had just changed, uh, development of what they call T1 lines to allow the transfer of data between the through, be, uh, from Plymouth to Brockton through to Brockton, uh, made it very complicated, but Carol was the manager at the time who took it and made it a, a special project, made people feel welcome, and uh, so many people um, had, had the convenience at the time of being able to come right to Brockton to record. So I know uh, Carol and Lacey, our office manager, wanted to do a presentation uh, to Carol Williams. Carol, come on over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell you that. No, you didn't. <laughs> I thought I told you that. Not, oh, yeah, I missed that memo. Okay, come on, come on over. From one, oh, no. one office manager oh, to the other. Sweet. Here I just 25 years later. Yeah, that's the best. Thank you. Yeah. You want to say a couple things? Oh, I wasn't prepared. But <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm just amazed at the space that you have because when yeah. we started out on Maple Avenue, we didn't even have a space this big. Yeah. And, um, it was a pretty interesting to watch the closings take place right in front of us. We could hear it all, and, um, and then moving to us down street, that yeah. was another challenge. Boom. Yeah, challenge. Yeah. yeah, that was right at the boom, and um, yeah. that's it. So yeah. I've I've been retired longer than I actually worked <laughs> for the county. Yeah. That's and that's awesome. Right. <laughs> thank you. And I thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So there, there have been a lot of changes since that time. Yeah. Uh, we now electronically record documents over the internet for both recorded land and in land court. But that breakthrough um, operation was something we're all proud of, and uh, so many people have benefited from it. Yeah, oh, it probably was, probably was. Probably was yeah. So a couple people I would just like to call uh, to the microphone to say a couple words. We have uh, the mayor of the city of Brockton, Moises Rodriguez. You want to come up and just say hello? Speaking of not being prepared. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but um, uh, good morning, everybody. I just uh, want to congratulate John and his staff for uh, continue to believe in the city and um, uh, believe in the fact that uh, the county and the city are, you know, are one. Uh, we believe that as Brockton goes, so does this county. And I'm glad that you're opening these spaces up and as beautiful as it looks, and it is, uh, to continue to serve the people of this uh, this great city of ours. And we pledge to continue to work with you and, and, and do whatever we need to do to make sure that you're successful in this uh, community for the good of the people in this city. Uh, so again, congratulations on your uh, being in the, uh, in the downtown area and believing in the downtown area. 
Uh, I was promised by my friend at, at the by the door there that you guys are going to do something to fix the, the side of the building yes. so it looks a little nicer. Um, <laughs> that's what I was promised, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna hold you to that. Uh, and but anyways, but the the idea is that you are here, and we're happy to have you here, and we'll continue to support you while you're here. Thank, Thank you. you. Great notes. Thank, Thank you. you. So when we opened uh, this facility. Uh, then Mayor uh, Bill Coppinger was here uh, in, in his unfortunate uh, passing, uh, brought about Moise's appointment to be the mayor. And I just want to say you made a choice the other day that I really thought was really good. You switched over the automatic phone system be because that's what we're all about. We're all about customer service and that type of thing is, was a very thing, good thing for everyone. So thanks for that. I'd like to call Bobby Sullivan, who is our uh, city council president, to the microphone. Bob. Thanks, Sean. In a, a practicing attorney. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, first of all, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and I want to congratulate John and, and the staff. Um, this is what it's about, right? This is, this is making a difference, not just for Brockton, uh, but the county. And I want to recognize County Commissioner uh, Greg Hanley and Sandra Wright. And, and I sit, pr I'm privileged to sit on the county advisory board. Uh, and I, I just want to thank John. I mean, he lives in Brockton. He doesn't have to have a location here in the City of Champions, um, but he, he's just a tireless advocate for the city and for the county, and it's illustrated by his cable show. Um, but I am a practicing attorney. I used to do a lot of closings over at uh, West Elm Street, and I'll say the staff is always professional, courteous, and helpful. And, and that's the team aspect. So I just wanted to say thank you for everybody here, and uh, let's look for the next 25. Great. Thanks, Thanks John. As Bob mentioned, he's been a the, the county is run by county commissioners as the executive branch. The P Plymouth County Advisory Board is made up by an appointment within the city of Brockton and the, a selectman from each of the towns. And Bob served there for many, many years and been very supportive of the registry as well as the county. So thank you. I'd like to call, uh, first of all, uh, County Commissioner Sandra Wright by seniority to come to the microphone. <laughs> and, and the commission is, when uh, the West Elm Street building was sold, really worked hard to give us this beautiful, wonderful, handicapped access space right here in the heart of downtown. So thank you, Commissioner. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming today. Uh, I know uh, taking your time out to come here is is a privilege to have you um i just want to say where does 25 years go i mean you know here and gone already it just doesn't seem possible uh i'd like to thank uh carol for her dedication and all the years that she put in here and uh built this great building and not the new building but um thank you for your service and also for carolyn and kathy who are the face of the community and they do a great job uh, we always have good feedback from you know what they provide in the community uh, and of course mr. Buckley he's always on top of everything and um, with all the new technology and programs uh, it's really been a great service and he's a great leader so I want to thank you all for coming and enjoy the festivities that we have here thank you Thanks. And, the, and the junior member of the County Commission Commissioner Greg Hanley Come on, Greg. <laughs> thank you. Junior member, but a, apprentice to, to the register. Um, thank you for having me here today, and I, I'm happy to see all of the folks here that are celebrating uh, 25th year here in service to the residents of the city of Brockton. You know, it's funny, uh, this is the new registry, and we're very happy to have it here. And I think moving forward in partnership, as the mayor mentioned publicly, I think we grow together as a community. And um, it's one thing to have bricks and mortar, but it's another thing to have people. And the people that work here are the glue. They are the faces. For 25 years you were here and working harder. And I'm glad to see that we're still writing you checks because you deserve it. And uh, uh, yeah. uh, there you go. There you go. We're going to try to keep that low for you. All right. But you're welcome back anytime. We can put you right back on the payroll if you'd like. You know? No. God bless you. Um, but Certainly the folks here that provide such a great customer service value to all of the attorneys, all the residents, not only in the city of Brockton, but regionally, it makes it a, a wonderful resource. And it wouldn't be uh, accomplished without 
uh, valuable leadership. And uh, in addition to the registrar, we have the assistant registrar, uh, Tim White and John. Their leadership team really motivates folks to do the right job, to do the professional job, to be a public servant and a public employee with uh, accountability. So with that, I want to congratulate you, Sarah, uh, on a job well done. Um, girls, would you, you need a dollar raise or anything like that? Because uh, that's who I am. Let's see him score him, folks. Yeah, no, yep. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay, so, so S Senator Mike Brady's at a charity golf tournament this morning, but Ed Miller from his office is here and has a proclamation they'd like to present to our staff. Uh, well, thank you, and uh, thank you for all your hard work. Uh, this is the uh, official procla proclamation from the Massachusetts State Senator and uh, Senate and Senator Brady's office. Uh, let it be known that the Massachusetts Senate hereby extends its congratulation to the Plymouth County Register Registry of Deeds and for your 25 years of hard work in the, in the city of Brockton. John, if Thank you'd you. like to present this to your staff. Yes, we'll get her framed and put up. I appreciate Thank it. You. Thank you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you very much. So I also just want to bring up uh, Claire Cronin is my state rep on the other side of Brockton here and representing the other Michelle Dubois and Jerry Cassidy. Jerry's on his way north to a wedding in Vermont. Claire, come on up. Great to see. Claire is the a state representative and chair of the Judiciary Committee in the House of Representatives. Thanks, John. Yeah. Uh, this is a great day for Brockton and a great day for the Registry of Deeds. Uh, John Buckley, in particular, has been leaps and bounds ahead of just about everyone I know when it comes to real estate and property and how a registry should be run and modernized and accessible to the public. So it's a great pleasure for me to be here with John as my friend. Um, I also want to just on behalf of the rest of the state delegation, uh, Rep Dubois, Rep Cassidy, Senator Brady, we work as a team and it's just my pleasure to be with you all here today uh, in support of our team at the State House. So thanks. So in la and last but not least, I had a conversation with someone here to record documents, Lisa Birch. You want to come up? Just say. So, so what it's all about is pe people can come in, get a copy of their deed. They can look right up online here with their help, whether they've had a discharge uh, recorded, whether they need to straighten out something with their title, and our staff will take them through that. But it's also a very convenient recording office. So I know we talked earlier that she was a frequent flyer back on Maple Ave. Sean McCall was a title examiner back with us then. And others, you want to just say why this is important? Yeah, as a practicing attorney in real estate for 27 years, um, before I was in Stoughton and to go to Plymouth, it was a 40 minute ride every every day and we had to do everything, you know, you couldn't do anything electronically at that point in time. So to go from having to drive to Plymouth um, three times a week to being able to come here was absolutely life changing. And um, everyone has always been so accommodating and, you know, I made great friendships <laughs> here as well because you see these people all the time. So. Um, as a practicing attorney, I'm very appreciative of what's been done. Thank you. Great, thank you. Thank you so, to, so to close out this brief ceremony today, I'd like to call up our neighbor here, the clerk of courts, Bob Creighton. You want to come and say hello and close it out today? The other day, and there's a... a what do you call those places where men go to sip those amber liquor? A bar, yeah. It's a tavern. It's a tavern. It's called the Foxhole. And on the lawn of this place is a large Sullivan for Mayor sign. Yeah. Moises, give me one of yours. I'll put it there. Uh, no, but th this, is, uh, this is a terrific event. Unfortunately, when I started practicing law, we used scrolls. Uh, there, there were no such things as computers. Uh, 
Yes. But the word. That's wor a copy. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do I know? The first, the first thing I did when I got elected to the Senate was uh, it's two little kids came in the office and they're installing something like that. And I said, look, I don't watch television. It's a waste of time. I said, oh, uh, Senator Creedon, that's a computer. I said, oh, you boys better be careful. These kids are about like 25. I said, do you read, have you ever read the uh, Lancet? And they said, no. Do you know what it is? They said, no. I said, well, it's the British version of the journal, uh, J J uh, medical journal. And the Lancet had a big article that in young males, now that doesn't include me, young males, it causes sterilization. Oh, and the yeah. poor kids, they, when they were panicking, I said, no, I'm just pulling your leg. But, <laughs> but this, this has been a blessing for the bar for this past 25 years. And this guy here is the greatest, as we all know. And, mm -hmm. and hopefully you'll stick around for many, many years. Yeah. And where's Carol? There she is. Yeah. And, and, and the other thing is, you know, as the clerk of courts, I readily admit I don't run the place. The staff does. <laughs> and this lady here, remember the old district court? Did a super, super job. So congratulations to you, thank too. You, thank you. Thanks, thanks John. John. Yeah. Thanks. So, so thank you all for coming. I just want to mention that we have a representative Metro South Chamber of Commerce. The Metro South Chamber of Commerce was very supportive of having a satellite registry of deeds 25 years ago. And Chris Cooney and the people in Metro South have been very supportive of us remaining downtown Brockton today. So when we have coffee and uh, some desserts. Uh, Carolyn's going to cut the cake. <laughs> and thank you all very much. We'll see you 25 years from now. Great. <laughs>